الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد إن شاء الله تدي وبلكن أبدي لسن تو وش هي الدوس الثاني الدوس الثاني وش مين لسن تو in lesson one we discuss fully on هذا هذا which means this and it is a demonstrative pronoun used for masculine singular noun so all the nouns that came immediately after hada just know that they are masculine nouns and know that they are also singular for example mudarrisun qamisun mindilun qalamun tabibun qittun kalbun hisanun waladun himarun rajulun mindilun jamalun and kalbun and we'll discuss their meanings you all know their meanings so all these are words that you should take note of because as at the lessons move forward we are getting uh, in touch with other new new words so it is better for us to memorize these and get used to them before we are going to get ourselves accustomed with new new words that are coming in the forthcoming classes so the lesson today is zalika which means that it means that as you can see yeah on the left hand side of your screen thalika it means that and it is a demonstrative pronoun that is used for masculine noun that are also singular mm? the same thing with hada but there are differences between hada and thalika we'll come to that inshallah so thalika means that and we all know ma to means an interrogative pronoun so if you are to say ma dhalika that means we are referring to something that is far that is not closer to us but it is far it is farther away from us so if i'm to say ma dhalika it means what is that what is that and my response or the person's response should be dhalika that is then you put the word so here we have dhalika najmun that is a star we all know najmun to be star as we make use of it in the last class yeah it says hada masjidun this is a mosque this is a mosque wa dhalika baytun and that is a house and that is a house baytun all this her all these words we came across them in the last lesson hada hisanun this is a horse وَذَلِكَ حِمَارٌ and that is a donkey as we can see that the house is closer to us so make use of هَذَا this and the donkey is farther away from us so make use of ذَلِكَ and that here is أَذَلِكَ كَلْبٌ we all know أَ to means an interrogative pronoun which means is أَذَلِكَ كَلْبٌ is that a dog it's a question لا no ذلك قط that is a cat ما ذلك what is that ذلك سرير that is a bed سرير means bed all these are known words it continues it says من هذا who is this من هذا who is this ومن ذلك and who is that هذا مدرس this is a teacher as you can see here in this first picture this is a teacher وذلك امام and that is an imam so yeah imam is our first is our second new word as you can see here so imam it means an imam and that is an imam as you can see in the picture so the imam is leading the people in salat as you can see so وذلك امام and that is an imam or a leader it can also means leader ما ذلك what is that what is that ذلك حجر that is a stone so حجر means a stone a stone هذا سكر 
This is a sugar. Sukau means sugar. So if I should say sukka, it means sugar. Hada sukau. This is a sugar. Wadalika labanu, and that is a milk. So the sugar, uh, the sugar is inside the plate, while the milk is is in the cup. So labanun means milk, and that is a milk. So we have just five new words here. In addition with what we've also taken in the last lessons. So that means we are going about 20 or 25 new new words. So Temri in the exercise, this exercises for now are to be done according to your pace. You have to do it and answer it on your own. And not to submit it to me for now. But inshallah, before the week runs out, uh, maybe we'll take a short, short exercise that I will send to you and you have to forward it to me on Google Classroom and I'm going to go to put you through on that inshallah how that is going to be inshallah so some in exercise they said Iqra waktub read and write so you have to put the haraka you have to visualize them and because we've seen all these words all these words here have been seen by also you have to put the haraka he said, "Iqra waktu bi shurid and write. One, hada sukkarun wa dalika labanun. This is a sugar, and that is a milk, and that is a milk. Two, man dalika. Who is that? Dalika imamun. That is an imam. Three, adalika kitun. Is that a cat? لا نو ذلك كلب that is a dog ما هذا what is this هذا حجر this is a stone this is a stone so the new words here الكلمات الجديدة means new words الكلمات الجديدة the new words الكلمات is the words why the الجديدة is the new so new words they said إمام an imam Hajarun, a stone, sukkarun, sugar, and Lebanon, milk. So these four are the new words that we came across in this lesson too. So just know that the whole nouns, yeah, that came immediately after the demonstrative pronoun, dhalika, they are all masculine singular nouns. Najmun, masjidun, baytun, hisanun, himarun, kalbun, qittun, sarirun. Uh, Modergisun, Imamun, Hajarun, Sukkarun, Lebanon, and the likes. So they are all masculine masculine nouns mm? and not feminine nouns. Inshallah, in the forthcoming lessons, we will discuss the feminine nouns. But all these are masculine nouns. And we are here to discuss how to differentiate the masculine nouns from the feminine nouns. That will come in place immediately after we discuss the feminine nouns. Then we will now put the difference between the masculine and the feminine nouns so i have something for you here like like uh, some notice they say that the demonstrative pronoun hada is used with a singular masculine noun that is near so if you then addressing something that is closer to you and the thing is masculine and it is singular then you have to make it of hada these three conditions must be there if you tend using this is this is unlike the english version this is can be used for both the masculine and the feminine but it's not like that in the arabic if what you are addressing if it is masculine and it is singular and it is closer to you then make use of hada this hada hada this is a house but if what you are addressing if it is far away from you one and if it is masculine two and if it is singular then make use of dhalika dhalika baytun that is a house Hada Baytun. This is a house. Inshallah, this is the lessons for today. And we are done with lesson two. And inshallah, in the next lesson, the lesson three is supposed to come up during next week. But since we are done with lesson two, and lesson three is a bit lengthy, so we'll take a little out of it so that we'll be able to cover up in the next week class. Inshallah, stop here. May Allah is our face and give us more ilm and understanding of his religion. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته